Republican Mossy Pillip conceded the race for Long Island's third congressional district. And that flips the seat from Republican to Democrat. Let's take a look at the numbers with 100% of precincts reporting. Swansea won with 54% of the vote to Pillip's 46%. This race affects the balance of power in the House, eating into the GOP's slim majority. Republicans hold 219 seats, Democrats adding one more to their 212 seats. Um, now for more on the election results and what's next for Swazi. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook joins us live from Swazi's campaign headquarters in Glen Cove. Elijah. Well, good morning, Mary and Chris. Tom Swansea's win flips the congressional seat from red to blue. He's reclaiming a spot he was in nearly two years ago after unsuccessfully running for governor. As you mentioned, the latest numbers showing that Swansea came in with 53.9 percent, Pillup at 46.1 percent. We won! <laughs> Democrat Tom Suozzi is now the projected winner in these special elections in New York's 3rd Congressional District for the House seat. Suozzi defeated Republican Mozzie Pillip, who conceded Tuesday night to retake a seat he held for three terms before giving it up to run unsuccessfully for governor. This after it was left vacant when Republican George Santos was expelled from Congress. There are divisions in our country where people can't even talk to each other. All they can do is yell and scream at each other. And that's not the answer. The victory narrows the slim Republican majority in the House and gives Democrats a much needed win in Long Island, where the GOP showed strength in recent elections. Pillup had this to say when she conceded last night. We did a great job. We are the fighters. Yes, we lost, but it doesn't mean we're going to end here. I did. The special election race was intense between Swazi and Pillup. Just to give an idea, it's being reported 18 mailings were sent to one house in two weeks and $20 million was spent on the race. Democrats and Republicans will get a chance to fight over the congressional seat again in November's general election, although it may appear a bit different this time around. The state's congressional districts are set to be redrawn again in the next few months due to a court order. Swazi says he's making it his mission to be a unifier. The answer is to try and bring people of goodwill together to try and find that common ground. And back out here live, Swazi's team is telling us that he'll be heading to Washington, D.C. in the coming days to take his seat for a fourth term. And we are live this morning from Glen Cove, Long Island. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.